may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. This Hello. is the case of Barron versus Bradshaw. Thank you, Jerome. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Good day, Mr. Barron. You are here today along with your wife to seek results of a long overdue paternity test. You claim that Ms. Bradshaw has been claiming you are her son, Ian's father, for more than 25 years and has financially drained you by forcing you to pay support for a child you believe isn't yours. Yes, Your Honor. Furthermore, you claim you will return to court to sue for $21,600 in what you say were fraudulent child support payments when you prove your paternity claims are correct. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Bradshaw, you admit you've completely confused your son, Ian Scott, by lying to him about his father's identity over the years. But you claim you believe Mr. Barron is your son's biological father. Your son will join us in a moment, and you are hoping today's DNA results will finally give him his full identity. Yes. Now, Mrs. Barron, why do you believe Ms. Bradshaw is lying about your husband being her son's father? She's a liar. <laughs> I've been with him for 25 years, no, and I don't it? have how, any children. How, so... how could you be with him for 25 years when my son is 25? Because... We were not with him at the same time. So uh, I've been with him for 25 me. years. No, I've been didn't. married with him for 13 years. I don't think even think he's can have children. I think he's sterile. So you're saying in all of the years you've been together, you've never conceived a child with no, him? No, ma'am. I'm not sure but did. not with. I yeah, sure did. That has else. nothing to do with him. Yeah. But just she cheated on him. She Oh, and you didn't. You always had to be with the Hold guy that I second. was with. Hold on one second. Now, Mrs. Barron, I'm trying to understand from you. Why do you believe she's lying? I mean, this has been a long-standing accusation. Your husband's been paying child support. Why? Because she's a liar. She told him that it was his child. He believed it, he took responsibility for it, and then she blames three different men. The, the father, it can only be so, one father. So, Ms. Bradshaw, you admitted that you lied. Why did you lie about the paternity? Okay, I was ashamed of him. I'd like one. to know why, too. I was, I was ashamed of him. Because you, took, you put my husband in jail gone. twice. No, I didn't. For yes, this child. Did. Yes, you did. And for you and your yes, you say did. Say he was the father. He okay. was the paper. Calm down. Fill me in on this. Mr. Barron went to jail twice for unpaid child support. Yes, yes I did. Explain yourself. Okay. I took him for child support, and when we went in and had the hearing, mm -hmm. I was under the uh, understanding that he wasn't gonna sign the paper that he was gonna get DNA, because his dad even said that he would pay for the DNA. And that's what I thought he was going to do. He was well, going to request happened? DNA. Yeah, because he, he you tricked him into it and no, said, oh, I love you, it's no, my son. No, he wanted to be with me. Well, I, I was saying not because he's married to me. I told him it was over. No, I told you. Oh, yeah, right. Really? All right, all right. Yeah, ladies, no, and yes, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, so you thought he was going to take the DNA test? Yes. Why didn't you take the DNA test, Mr. Barron? Because I thought it was my child. And then she started cheating on me, sleeping around and stuff, and I just told her it was over. What did you find out specifically? Maybe three weeks after we was together and stuff. Found three... out she slept with my brother. No, I didn't. Yes. No, I didn't. Yes, She's you dating did. his cousin. She's dating my cousin. Now? She's You're dating his, his cousin, cousin yes, right now? My cousin yes. Right now. But we'll just keep it in the family, but I'm the I bad mean, girl because I pay, help pay for his child support. Hopefully they took it out is social my son. And she's saying it's a southern man's kid. Why didn't he go for SSI? He was dead. She could have got SSI for 18 years and wouldn't have to worry about it. So, Ms. Bradshaw, did you ever tell your son that anyone else could potentially be his father? I told him what Mike was. Yeah, he took her to a dead man's grave and said, hey, this is your son. <laughs> Ms. Bradshaw, I need to understand this. You took your son to the grave. The yes, deceased man that you told him... Yes, I did. ...was his father. Yes, I did. And I was wrong. I was totally wrong for doing it because I knew that it wasn't his... You knew when yes. you took him to the grave yes, that I it did. wasn't his father. But I wanted him to be. Uh, me and him was going to get married and have more kids and be a family. But I and that, that didn't happen because he died. 
so the whole time you were Why telling you your son that this deceased man was his father yes. and taking him to the grave but hey, site. But you were collecting child the child support from Mr. Barron yes. and cashing the checks. But telling him it's yes. another guy. Ms. Bradshaw. I know, I was wrong. And I regret it. And I told my son that I was wrong. But I didn't want to share my son. I did not want my son around them. That's I did. I've seen him twice all his life. This is the lady oh, I yeah, married, and this Eve, is the lady I want to be. I came over to my house in '96 and seen the son. Yeah, the only time that you yeah. we, when we split because, up, then you loved uh, him again. Split up. All right, right. let's get again, some please. order, Mr. Barron. So even after all these years that you've paid child support, in your heart you have doubt. You don't believe you're his father. Yes, Your Honor. Why? I'm, hope, I'm hoping I am, but you are hoping that you yeah, are. Yeah, I'm hoping I am. In your statement to the court, you enumerated many reasons why you had this doubt, including... Because she slept around on me. And why did... And he does not look like me. He doesn't look like you. No, he does not look like did me. Did she ever tell you you weren't the yeah, father? Yes, she told me many a times, Your Honor. She did. Many a times she told did me... Did you, Miss Bradshaw? Yes. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. He's paid more than $20,000 in child support. Yes. Over the years. Yes. And to this day, he doesn't know if he's truly his father. But he could have if he would have requested DNA at the beginning of all this. You could have just when said, I hey, why don't you see I my son? You was not Wait there, a minute, Sharon. wait a minute, wait a minute. You, you keep don't know. saying if he would have requested DNA. But if you would have been honest, then he wouldn't I have felt so honest, confident. No, I was I told him from the beginning. I even told his mother and father. That is why the father said, I will pay for the DNA. Because he knew that he, the chance that he might not be the father. But he just said that he was certain that the child was his. Well, father. Until you got back not home true. and you were cheating. No. Nope. It's not how it took. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. How so has part. this uncertainty, this entire saga that you created, affected your relationship with your son? We have problems. <laughs> Mainly because of him knowing that Mike's not his dad and what I did. I'm ready to hear from your son. Jerome, if you could please escort Mr. Scott into the courtroom, please. Welcome, Mr. Scott. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Your mother has admitted to lying to you, um, specifically taking you to a deceased man's grave and telling you that that was your father. Yes, ma'am. What do you feel? How are when you doing I, um, first found out that the guy that's dead wasn't my father, I was just devastated. I was very angry with her, and I just had so many emotions build up. Mm -hmm. And I kept after her about who my father was because Don was paying child support. I never got to see him. We never had a relationship. There was rumors floating around. We live in a small town, so mm -hmm. it's easy to hear things. And um, I went to the dead man's parents' house, mm -hmm. and I knocked on the door, and they let me in, and they talked to me, and they told me that he couldn't be the father because my mother had gotten with him after I was born. Oh. How'd that feel? It was horrible. It, I felt like I lost my dad again, you know? Um, he was really the only dad I knew. Mm -hmm. You know, I would go to his grave every year. When I had problems, I would go and talk to the grave. I, it just felt horrible. I just don't understand how my mom could have told me all those years that he was my dad when she knew that he wasn't. You can't even look at your mom today, it's can hard. you? It's very hard. What do you want to say to her? I just would like to know why. Why I was lied to all these years, several different lies. That's why I'm here today. I want to know 
and Dawn is my dad, and Mr. Oh, Barron, you? you're very emotional as well. Yes. What are you feeling? Don't upset. I I just hope he is my kid, and I just wish you know I could have had a life with him. He would never pushed him away. His mother always pushed him away. Miss Bradshaw, you are very emotional now, and. You've told your story, and you've admitted to your lies, and you've said you've apologized. Is there something you'd like to say to your son? I'm so sorry. I'm truly, truly sorry. I was so wrong. As much as I hate the fact that Don could be your father, I should have told you from the beginning, and we should have done this sooner. I'm so sorry. It wasn't you, it was me. And it wasn't even them. As much as I hate Sharon, it wasn't even them. It was she me. She made me all she wants. <laughs> yeah, but I'll admit when I do something wrong, it's my son. And Ian, I am very, very sorry. Words can't say how sorry I am. If I could take it back, I would. Don't change the fact, though. I just always wondered who my father was, and I just w always wanted to have a relationship with him. I know. I have a family now. I have a wife and a son. And if Dawn is my family, I would like to, you know. And we will welcome you with open arms, you know, the like same to. as we would have whenever you were a baby, <laughs> even though she didn't like me. Will you please stand now? State your name for the court. Brittany Scott. I know, it's very emotional. And it's hard to see your husband hurting in this way. You probably know him best. And why do you feel it's so important for him to know now who his father is? Because he's the one to know for a long time now. And I know it, how bad it hurts him. I married him last March, and shortly after, I became pregnant. And he said that he would always vow that he wanted to be in a kid's life. Like, he would read before the baby was even born and stuff. And, because he never had a dad, so he always wanted to be that father figure. Yeah. And when I was eight months pregnant, I lost the baby. I'm so sorry. And it was, it's hard for both of us. But I think it's time for him to know who his dad is. You think it's time for him I to know? I know it's time. Well, the results are in. Mr. Scott, what are you hoping for today? How do we move forward either way? If he is my dad, I just want to, you know, start to have family with them as well. Show my son that he has a grandfather, you know, something I never had. Your mother wants a relationship with you, I know. We will still have a relationship, I'm sure. We we fought a lot when I was younger. I was very, very, very angry when I was younger for all this. Since I've become a father and a husband, I kind of mellowed out, and I just want to do what's best for my family at this point. Wonderful, wonderful. We're ready for the results. Jerome, do you have the envelope? We do. Thank you. <clears throat> do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. Jerome, do you have the envelope? Thank you. This report was prepared by DNA Diagnostics. In the case of 
Barron versus Bradshaw. When it comes to Ian Scott, Mr. Barron, you are not the father. You okay, Mr. Scott? Just confused again. I don't, I don't know where to go from here. Your son says he doesn't know where to go from here. And you're the only person in this room that could help direct him. Do you have any idea who his father could be in light of these results? Yes, I do, Your Honor. And I'd like you to help me find who his real father is. Mr. Barron? How do you feel? Upset. Like I said, he can come see me anytime. As far as I can say it, he is my son. Mm -hmm. I paid for him for 18 years, sat in jail. He is my son. I know the disappointment that you feel. Because the not knowing, I'm sure, can be overwhelming. But your mother has agreed in front of this court to give you and to give us information on who she believes is your father. And we will follow up on that. You can follow up on that. Mr. Barron, ask for your petition to receive the $21,600 you've paid in child support. This court is not the place where that type of judgment would be awarded. However, you can pursue that claim in your home state and understand that not every state allows for those funds to be returned because the funds are for the child. We'll be checking on you, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Your Honor. Court is adjourned. Thank you. It adds up to when I got pregnant. Man, I'm so sorry. I know. I'm so stupid. I'm so sorry. <laughs>